You are one of the most recognized world stars of poker, both online and live. What are the what are the main tools and resources that you would recommend to people? It doesn't have to be poker, it could be life in general. Like what do they need to do? What do they need to be reading? What do they need to be learning if they want to reach uh, the very pinnacle of where you are right now? You 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 are effectively in a business. You're effectively a, a startup. You're a business, you know, and, and I think that there's a lot of life skills that go into that as well. So I'm interested in in kind of more of the life skills than than I, I use PIO solver or whatever, you know, like, you know, how do you become jungle man? You're a brand, you're a machine, you're not just a human being, you know, not taking away that, your emotion from me, but you know what I mean? Well, I think uh, with regards to learning the technical aspects, there's like some, there are some traits really that you, you kind of need, like firstly to, uh, to work really hard at it. Uh, that's obviously the case, but also not just that, also to like make sure that you're applying the things that you learn which um, is still pretty vague, but I think there are some like, you can like get feedback from your friends, for example. Uh, there's, there are a number of things you can do that are related to common sense uh, to make sure that you're actually improving, which is important because if you work really hard, you feel like endless hands and you never try to improve, you're never going to go anywhere. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so you have to do things to make sure you improve. At least for me, it was more natural because I was always thinking about poker and whatever. But um, what else? Uh, yeah, definitely making sure you're improving in some way is, is pretty important. Or, uh, and putting in a ton of effort. Uh, I guess part of it is just doing things that you, part of it really is just doing things that are need to be done when you don't want to do them. I mean, as simple as that is, it really is the, sh the short truth. And then, uh, what else? For poker and stuff, money management to, like for, at least personally, I always just reinvested money into poker. I didn't really like splurge very much at all. Uh, and I think that's more uh, long-term profitable than, I think just reinvesting the money is more long-term profitable than like cashing out and going crazy and things like that. Uh, definitely money management f to be successful. Uh, I think also having a, a good network of friends would be that are that are as relates to making sure you're improving. Have a good good network of friends that are actually honest with how you're if you're actually improving would be beneficial to a lot of people uh, and myself included. Um, and the friends that are actually encouraging you and not trying to do trying to undermine you in some weird way. Uh, think things like that. What else? Uh, some elements are things that are harder to have. Like for me, I remember I was fortunate in that uh, when I was in college, I had like loads of free time and I didn't have much of a social life. So I just played poker and tried to learn at it. So I invested a lot of the, a lot of my time into that during that period. But I think a lot of people have the issue that they don't have, they already have some responsibility and it's hard for them to have like enough time for them to really work on something a lot to make like real progress, but I think one important element would be to uh, uh, to allocate, if, if possible, to allocate a lot of time. It, it would be harder if someone like has to have a job or if they have like a kid or something like that.